for the residents as they travel along the uh, along the avenue. Stimulus road resurfacing. Now here, I truly want to uh, commend uh, Mayor McCowan and uh, uh, his administration for securing these funds. I cannot actually take uh, too much credit for this because all we did was basically set up meetings to uh, to to ensure that uh, that the University Park was actually at the table, and that we made sure that when the stimulus dollars came down from Washington, that we knew the process by which those stimulus dollars which would be allocated to the various jurisdictions. Now, you all may laugh and you may say, "Well, you know, we would have got." <coughs> $780,000 in stimulus dollars for road projects. Anyhow, not the case. Let me tell you, I know several communities who, one, didn't know the process. Two, they weren't at the table when the money was being cut up. Three, those who were at the table when the money was being cut up, they didn't speak out. And so consequently, they missed out on a share of money for their communities. I can't tell you how many people came to me and told me, well, we didn't get anything. They decided to fund two big projects of the largest cities in the area. Well, I said, that doesn't make any sense. Everybody, every community should benefit from the stimulus package because every community has paid in taxes. And so consequently, every community deserves a return on their investment. So I want to commend um, the administration for their leadership and their efforts on securing $780,000 related to the uh, stimulus dollars. Uh, the Abraham Lincoln Airport. Now, this is something that uh, we have, uh, Mayor McCowan has, has been steadfast in his stewardship on and his leadership. It's something that uh, when we met with Governor Pat Quinn, uh, Mayor McCowan brought up the discussion of the uh, third airport and whether or not the governor was committed to it. The governor told him that he was committed to it and in fact his commitment, you can see it in the Capitol bill, was $110, $110 million for land acquisition for the uh, third airport. And so I want to commend again uh, Mayor McCallum for his leadership. Should I talk about this uh, Lake Michigan feasibility? Okay. As you all know, uh, the administration and the trustees have, have been talking to several different entities about ways in which we can bring Lake Michigan water to the village of University Park so that we can get off the whales. Uh, a part of that has been that we put forth a request, or Congressman Jackson did, for $1 million dollars. Uh, for a feasibility study uh, on this on this uh, issue, the uh, the bill hasn't actually passed the Senate yet. I mean, but it's 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 moving in the process, so we still have a shot at getting that funding. And I've been in touch with Congressman Jackson's office on it. I think it is a uh, very vitally important uh, project. It's one that uh, we have another shot at this too. Uh, the Water Resources Development Act, the water bill, is actually coming up in this Congress. And so we're gonna actually shoot for that as well. That's a bill where you do an authorization and then you do an appropriation. Uh, but we have an expert who recently joined the firm who used to work over at EPA, who actually knows this inside and out and I'm going to have her come and actually make a presentation to the board uh, or to those designated members that you identify about how we can actually get total funding for this. I mean, not just get the $1.5 million, but get however much it costs to do the whole project itself in this bill. And so we'll, we'll, we'll have more on this. So this project, though, is on the table, and it's one that uh, we're currently uh, actively involved with. Uh, Regal Farm. Uh, I've had conversations with uh, Trustee Oscar Brown uh, uh, over the past, uh, I guess, a few weeks 
about uh, restoring Regal Farm. It's a project that, uh, that, that, that we will push extremely hard. I have a couple of uh, clients, uh, corporate clients, who, uh, who've indicated that they wouldn't mind making some contributions uh, towards this uh, effort. And so it is my hope that uh, we can make Regal Farm one of our priority projects as we go forward to work to get funding for it. But I'm also thinking outside the box, and that's not just depending on government, but depending more on the private sector to help fund this. And if the private sector funds it, then of course what they will want is signage and that sort of thing, uh, noting their uh, contribution. And so that's something that, uh, that we're working on. Uh, other sources of funds that came to the uh, village of University Park, uh, we received $331,536 on the motor fuel tax uh, from Springfield. We also received uh, $25,000 through uh, DCEO uh, for general infrastructure uh, improvements, so, which basically means that you all can use the money for whatever you see fit. Um, so the total return, um, the amount received, and I didn't calculate this, by the way, I'm not a mathematician, magician, or magician. I'm, I'm, I'm a lawyer. But the, uh, Y'all can laugh, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I ran in here and first thing up, I'm the first person on the agenda. Uh, amount received $169,855,536. $169,000,000. A cost of uh, Barnes and Thornburg as a consulting uh, firm, $150,000 per year. Benefit to the village, once you subtract that, $169,705,500. $169,705,536. Sorry, Nicole James made sure I got it right. Thank you so much. Um, I, uh, I truly am honored to, to represent Barnes and Thornburg and be a part of the team. Uh, Nicole is a part of our team. Also, Craig Burkhart, who's in Washington, D.C. right now, couldn't be here tonight, but wanted to be. Uh, he's also a part of the team. And let me, let me suggest to you all, that the success that we've had for University Park has bred to success throughout. We, uh, we actually now represent uh, Governor State University. And the reason why we represent Governor State University is because we represent University Park. And so let me tell you, when it came to selecting uh, consulting firms, I mean, they called around and they said, what has been your experience? Well. Somebody gave us a good positive recommendation, and I guarantee you, because of that positive recommendation, we were able to be selected to be a firm to represent Governor State University. Now, why is that important? It's important because when Chicago is selected for the 2016 Olympics, the University Park is going to be hosting some of those games, the shooting games. I mean, Governor State University. And so, why is that important? All of it's linked together. Everything is interlinked. They gonna make sure that the interchange is done. They gonna make sure that the roads out here are done. They gonna make sure that you got the best of everything. Because guess what? You gonna have people traveling from Chicago and all over to visit University Park. University Park is gonna be. It's already on the map. But you're really gonna be what we call blown up. I mean, you gonna be the center of activity. And so. That's why it's important, and, and, and I'm glad that, that we represent them. So they rec recognized and realized what we've been able to do with the University Park. And they said, hey, look, we want to hire these guys. Now, it's not just University Park. I re we represent six other municipalities throughout Illinois. And you don't represent six other municipalities and not deliver. Now, I'll guarantee you this. We didn't deliver the other municipalities $169 million. We didn't. We delivered one of them $6 million from the capital bill, but they're happy with us. Because guess what? It's $6 million that they wouldn't have had had they not hired us. And so I'm honored to be a part of the team. I'm honored to work with, I see Joel back there. Joel has been extremely helpful in this process. He's been a partner in the process. Um, 
and there have been others. 